Let's go. How about it? Fireworks. After being canceled last year because of the COVID restrictions, this very, very popular holiday event back on in Indy. We're talking about the annual downtown fireworks for Independence Day this year. There's a new launch location. IMPD and IFD holding a news conference about the plans in less than an hour as well. Joining me live to talk about it, Bob Schultz, Senior Vice President of Downtown Indy, Inc. So good to see you. So good to have the fireworks back. Absolutely. We are thrilled. I had hoped to be coming to you live from just outside the venue where those, those fireworks will be launched on July 4th at 10 p.m. Little rain in the forecast right now, but we're going to have a great uh, weather weekend uh, for Indianapolis. Thank uh you. Yeah, we have um, so much history. I mean, my dad used to take care of all the elevators downtown. He'd take us to the top of the high rise and we would watch the fireworks being launched wow. from the regions building a different launch site this year. It is a different launch site uh, going forward. So it's kind of a good problem to have. We have so much development in downtown. A residential development and multifamily unit is now just at the base of Regions Tower which is no longer making it a viable option because of its safety perimeter. Mm. So we had to uh, look for a new site that uh, is free of a perimeter that would include a hotel, a residence, a jail, a homeless shelter, at least a mile from the zoo, but still be in our downtown core. And I think we're going to deliver a great one. Oh, we can't wait. Is there anything different in terms of access and again, the ability to actually see the display? I used to sit on top of Market Tower back in the day. Wow, I think you still could. Uh, so there are great, great venues. So think about this 500 North building. It's just immediately south of the Scottish Rite Cathedral and due west from the Indiana War Memorial, Veterans Memorial Plaza, American Legion Mall, that area. Those aren't the only spaces uh, because of all the trees that you'll be able to access this site. But this is kind of a rebuilding year. We're going to be learning what are the new mm. line of sites, but we do know the east end of IUPUI, the canal, uh, even some of the areas that people are used to seeing the region's tower fireworks, yeah. they'll be able to see this uh, uh, in the heart of, of the mile square. That's phenomenal. The fireworks will start at 10 again on July 4th. Um, a lot of people always ask, you know, is it synced to music? Do I, what, what should I be looking for? Are there any street closures? Kind of run that down. We have about a minute left. Real quick. Yes, it is synced to music on our MS partners. So on, on 93.1, one WIBC, Hank FM as well, B105. So we'll all be synced starting at 10, 8, 10 p.m. Uh, mm -hmm. And so you can uh, download that or let's bring your uh, your radio, whatever you want to do to listen. So there'll be some street closures uh, throughout uh, the, uh, the, the display, but not all day long. Our bigger concern is construction, plan mm -hmm. ahead. Uh, you know, the interstate, a lot of people haven't come back downtown yet and haven't encountered that north split closure. Mm. Uh, so plan ahead if you do kind of come to the area uh, to think so. And uh, obviously if you're looking, you can see the Scottish Rite Cathedral, the, the, the tower, then you know you're, you're gonna have close proximity and see that. So uh, there will be uh, some street closures right around the, the time of the, the launch. And then parking is free downtown on July 4th at any meter, Great. except those that are bagged because of the uh, surrounding the building. So just be safe. Bob. Thank you, and we hope that you have just the greatest show. We need a good Happy one. Happy Fourth yes. of July. Yes.